Mr. President, the Republic of Belarus joins the statement delivered on behalf of the non-aligned movement and the statement delivered on behalf of the group of friends in defense of the Charter of the United Nations. We welcome the participation of the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Cuba, Bruno Rodriguez Perilla. The Republic of Belarus categorically objects to unilateral restrictive measures against a member state of the United Nations. The imposition of unilateral sanctions represents an egregious violation of the Charter of the United Nations and of international law, which jeopardizes the system of international relations through the increasing of potential for conflict and hostility in international relations. The ongoing economic, commercial, and financial embargo against Cuba imposed by the United States of America in violation of the principles of international law on the non-intervention in domestic affairs of states, the obligation of states to cooperate with one another, equality, self-determination of peoples, sovereign equality of states, as well as respect for human rights and fundamental freedoms, has over decades constrained the development of the independent country, preventing Cuba from enjoying fair opportunities for the advancement of, prosper, of progress, prosperity, and sustainable development on equal footing with other states in the world. We once again stress that the main victim of unilateral sanctions measures is the Cuban people. The illegal restrictions in the area of trade, currency, banking sector, and tourism is a flagrant violation of human rights, doing damage to millions of Cuban citizens, resulting in economic uncertainty, unemployment, and absence of opportunities. The economic blockade against Cuba is the most protracted, inhumane act of economic warfare ever perpetrated against an independent state. This goes far beyond bilateral relations. Not only does this affect the Cuban people, but it also affects trade between Cuba and third countries. The unabated attempts to isolate Cuba in breach of international law and resolutions adopted by the overwhelming majority of UN member states annually is a, an example of the blatant disregard for the principle of multilateralism and, and uh, disregard for the political will of the international community. We view the extraterritorial consequences of the blockade and the inclusion of of Cuba in the list of state sponsors of terrorism by the United States uh, unilaterally as nothing other than an inhumane act of aggression against a sovereign state. We believe fully that in an era of profound transformation to establish multilateralism and uh, the greater interna international cooperation, which is the basis for sustainable development on the global level, that there can be no place for unilateral sanctions measures here. Belarus and Cuba are friendly states. We continue to cooperate, which reflects the interests of the peoples of both countries advancing economic and social development. We call for the full and conditional lifting of the economic financial and commercial blockade against uh, Cuba by the United States and to resume dialogue, for the U.S. to resume dialogue to uh, rekindle the process that had once begun to normalize relations with Havana for the benefit of the peoples of both states. We will continue to vote in support of the resolution until the blockade is lifted. Thank you for your attention. I thank the distinguished representative of Belarus for 